I'd like to explain that kinesiology is a modality that I've worked with for 30 years. It actually helps us to look at the body and understand what's happening for the body by doing muscle testing. The muscle testing actually activates the central nervous system and allows the body to tell us everything the body knows about the person and it allows you to find out what the problem is that the person may be facing and also how then to correct whatever's going on. It gives both the problem and the solution. Okay, good morning and thank you everyone. <clears throat> I'd like to invite Andrew to come on over and be my assistant for this morning. Um, what I'd like to do is uh, do a demonstration with uh, kinesiology. So yes, if we could have your off. jacket off, <laughs> that'd be great. <laughs> Shoes. Shoes, yeah. <laughs> and if you want to loosen your tie. First thing that I establish is the strength of a muscle. So Andrew's naturally stronger than I am. And if I push on his muscle, there's nothing happening. So I turn off the belly of one of the muscles. It's related to his stomach meridian and the muscle goes weak. I turn it back on again and the muscle reinstates itself. So I can now just turn that off or turn it on and his body is going to allow me to work into his system. So muscle testing is the movement of muscle, which is uh, kinesis, and it allows you to take the strength of the muscle in comparison to the weakness of a muscle. And the way to achieve that is to turn off the belly of the muscle and allow it just to relax for a little while. So by pressing into the center and shortening the belly of the muscle, you can actually turn the muscle off and then by re-stretching it and strengthening it will regain its own strength. So if I demonstrate with my muscle and then I turn my muscle off by pinching in, it allows the muscle to release. So it relaxes and then if I stretch it, it will allow it to come back on. So it's, it's giving you a yes, no answer to the question that you're asking. So I now ask Andrew, can I have permission to work with him? Is there any reason that I shouldn't do that? So his body's working with me. So I'm going to put his body and my knowledge together. And I do that in what we call a circuit. So it's the same as putting a USB stick into a computer. Thank you, Neil. <laughs> so I'm going to ask Andrew for demonstration purposes, whether we can go through his body very quickly and understand what's happening in his system. And his body says, yes, we can do that. So we ask for the body to show me any imbalances that are happening at this point in time. So I ask then how he is in relationship to himself with his masculinity, how he is with his softer uh, side. We check on his brain and we check on his thought processes his hydration, and he's not drinking enough water. So he should see Brad a little later. <laughs> so the hydration factor through the hair is letting me know that he doesn't have enough fluid in his system. We check on his eyes, his ability to see, his direction in life, his breathing, his teeth, his saliva, and his hearing. And so those are the essentials that we need to have working before we do anything else. So we then go in and ask his body how his emotional levels are. And we ask how his stomach is, how his spleen is, then his heart, his small intestines, and his kidneys, his bladder, and his sexual self. We look at the triple warmer, we look at the gallbladder, and we look at the liver. So he's got something happening in his liver. So we could then ask him what's annoying him, what's frustrating him, or what is he cross about? There could be something because the liver isn't at the moment transposing his food and his fluids into the correct energy. So his liver is not being a good chemist shop at the moment. So he may need some help with that. Then we look at the lungs and the large intestine. 
So I'm actually working on the lymphatic points. So I'm not actually doing full muscle testing, which is quite tiring for both myself and the person, but we're actually doing the lymphatic testing. So then we come back and ask what's overworking in the body. So we have the liver that's not functioning well enough, so we now check on the over energy. So we go through and we check to find out on the meridians this time actually what's happening in his system. And it's saying that his gallbladder and his liver are not as happy as they should be. So they're forcing him to keep going. So they're pushing his energy too far and his liver is not functioning well enough. So the liver is having a swinging effect in his body at the moment. Then we have a look at his glands because you need your glands, they're the bosses of the body and if they're not working well, the carburetor of the whole car isn't working so nothing's going to happen. So we check on the glands in the body and find out if there's anything that's causing him a problem from that level. So we check and ask and it's saying kidneys. So therefore we would need to check with Andrew whether he's drinking enough and it came back with his hydration wasn't okay. So it would probably mean he'd need something in his water to help him to uh, hydrate properly. So it could be an acid, it could be an alkaline, it could be a carbonation or it could be a juice. So he would need a carbonation and then we'd look at the hormonal level as to what that carbonation would be. So we would need to go to um, the masculine end or the feminine end or somewhere in the middle. So it's the masculine end he would need. So we would probably have to utilise something like ginger beer into his water to help him hydrate and drink his water and actually feel as though his thirst is quenched. So it's, it's um, how does the thought of ginger beer in your water work oh, with you? Yeah, yeah. Right. okay. So um, we would need about a quarter. So one quarter of ginger beer would help him to digest his water. So then we move on and find out if there's anything else. Then we ask on his body levels. So if his body is fine, his mind, his emotions, his strength, his sexuality, his timing, his placement, his nature, his personality, his work, his finances. He's worried a little about his finances. He could be making too much or he might not be making enough. <laughs> so we'd have to go into that. Um, so then we look at his, um, his family, uh, whether he's got aged, aged parents, his relationship, and then we look into the spirit and into his webbing, which is how we encase ourselves and stay well. So um, we then find out how much stress he's carrying. So we would ask out of 100, and in, when I first started, 30 was normal. These days around 90 is normal. But with Andrew, how much stress is he carrying? He's got 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60, 70, 80, 90, 100. He's going to go through the 100. So to 110, 120, 130. So he's going to pull up at around about 31 to 3, 133%. So something is pushing him at the moment to be more stressed than he needs to be. You willing to share it? No. Okay. <laughs> Damn. <laughs> so, um, but that's the sort of thing that we actually do. And from that then, we would chart this information and we would then uh, look at what does the body want to do to actually complete this, to actually put it back together again. So we can ask on the liver whether he would need to take some liver supplementation, whether he would need to take something that would support his liver in food, whether he would need to chew his food more. Um, do you eat in a hurry? Mm -hmm. Uh-huh. So we come back and check on his teeth and ask his TMJ and his chewing ability, how many times does he need to chew? 
So we'd need to do 2, 4, 6, 8, 10, 12, 14, 16, 18, 20. He would need to chew his food 20 times per mouthful to actually allow the liver to get the food in a masticated way enough for the liver then to make the proper chemicals for his vitamin and mineral intake. Do you think you could manage to do that? I'll try my best. He'll try his best, that's great. Okay, so very simply, what would help Andrew, who's pretty fit, would make a difference for him to actually chew more thoroughly and to actually put ginger beer in his water. So as a demonstration, um, and we would need to get his stress levels down. So be that um, more relaxation, be that more planning, be that meditation. Um, it could be a form of exercise. So we would have to look into finding out what it was that would help him to reduce his stress levels. At the end of a session, most people feel lighter. They feel relieved. They feel as though a great stress or a great weight has been taken off the body. Um, many of them stand up and afterwards and they say, I haven't felt this good or I haven't felt this tired for a really long time. So the body will go to whatever it needs as a, as a result, but it helps the body then to let go of what the body's been holding. It allows the body to um, recuperate, to rehabilitate, um, to do clearing work and I uh, put the circuits into the legs so that allows the person to continue to work with the process that we've done with every step that they take. So it means that the work is very ongoing for a long time and that usually gives the person a great chance for clearing. Thank you very much for listening and please come along and have a healing with your body mechanic.